you know that you're missing a month of your life every year? We're supposed to have 13 months of 28 days exactly, plus one day that represents the renewal. I mean, girls' periods are every 28 days, the ocean tides are every 28 days, the moon cycle is every 28 days. Why do you think it's called a month? Because the original name was derived from the moon cycle, which was called a moon every 28 days. And I'm sure you've heard of the idea that we live on the back of some cosmic turtle floating in outer space. And that's because turtles actually keep a calendar of this on their back. Most turtles have 13 sections in the middle with 28 days around the rim. The Native Americans figured it out and used the turtle as a calendar. The Bible even says in Job 12, 7 through 10, that all creation knows that God made it. But why has the world distorted God's perfect calendar? And where did the 13th month go? Well, what does sept mean? Sept, September, sept is seven, October, oct is eight, nov, ember, novum, nova is nine, december, decim, december means 10, but I thought december was the 12th month. Well, let's think about the first month. What does April mean? April is where we get the word aprilis, or aprio in Latin, which means to appear or to open. Yeah, April is the first month, it means to open. May is actually named after a demon or a god, a Nephilim. June is named after Junus, a god as well. July was renamed after Julius Caesar. It was originally Quatillus, which means four. And August was renamed after Augustus Caesar, but it was originally Quintilus, and which means five. And Julius Caesar was originally the one who renamed the start of the whole calendar to confuse you. And the missing month, the thing y'all are missing, Sextilus, I know, it's weird but it means six. September is now seven, October is now eight, November is nine, December is 10. January is named after a god Janus. February is named after the god Februus, and March is named after another god or demon, Mars, the god of war who ends things. And what's that famous Shakespeare quote? Beware the Ides of March. Oh yeah, here's Shakespeare manipulating our language again. The Ides of March was originally related to a timeline, meaning celebration, celebration for the new year. So why'd they change it? So our yearly calendar was supposed to start in April and end in March. And we were supposed to have 13 months of 28 days, which is 13 times 28 is 364, plus the one day, which represents renewal to make it 365. That day also represents resurrection. Now, what day did Jesus die? It's actually April 3rd that a lot of historians assume, but what do you want to bet the calendar has been shifted a few days? and it was probably closer to April 1st. Hence the name April Fool's Day. Because you're a fool for believing calendar that makes absolutely no sense and not recognizing the day that Jesus died for humanity. That's why they call it April Fool's Day. And demons celebrate April Fool's Day because the world has forgotten the day that your Lord died for you. All of this calendar shifting, they did it so that you cannot honor gods, feast, and holidays. They did it to confuse you. I mean, God specifically says, keep my days. He says, keep the Sabbath. That's part of his commandment. God wants you to honor his holidays. And so that's why the calendar has been shifted. So you can't honor God's holidays and you don't even know what days they are. And Romans 1:20 basically says, God made creation so that you are without excuse if you deny him. So don't be a fool. Recognize that Jesus died for you. Do the research, read your Bible, and realize that you live in a world that's completely manipulated by Satan. They changed the calendar so that you don't know how to honor your God's holidays.